leg. Howard Wilkinson could have been forgiven for being cautious in his team selection today, but he's gone the opposite way. South African Phil Massinga and former England international Brian Dean are recalled. So along with Rod Wallace and Tony Yeboah, Leeds have four recognised strikers. Since the first meeting two weeks ago, Gary Speed has suffered a fractured cheekbone and he could be out for the rest of the season. Tony Yeboah was a key man a fortnight ago, scoring one goal and creating the second. But Birmingham had four of their first-choice defenders missing at St Andrews and they feel they can contain him better today. Gary Poole and Andy Edwards return to strengthen Birmingham's back four and with his usual flair for surprise, Barry Fry has brought back Ian Richardson in midfield, probably to mark Gary McAllister, and Chris White comes in at left back. White, who played in Leeds' championship winning team four years ago, scored the own goal, which proved to be the winner in the first leg. Over Masinga's head, Yeboah was in behind him and lifts it forward to Masinga. And again! What a let off for Birmingham. What a miss by Masinga. And that could have made Birmingham's job virtually impossible. Well, it was an amazing, lovely little flick there by Yeboah. Puts Masinga in. White's in there with the challenge. It came back off the keeper and really and truly, the keeper actually did terrific because he got a foot to it. For Davey. McAllister in space. Tried the chip. Brilliant effort and a wonderful save by Bart Greening. Classic Gary McAllister. Well, he's had a quiet game, Gary McAllister, but that was a beauty, wasn't it? Bending it inside the goalkeeper's left hand. Looks for Francis in the middle. And it almost found him. It has found Richardson. That was a great opportunity for Birmingham to draw level on aggregate. But Lukic made a splendid reaction save. What a super chance this was for Birmingham to, to get himself level and aggregate. He's got all the time in the world, has time to, to steady it, and bang, good save by Lukic. But a, a bad miss, I thought, Alan. Sheridan's corner, and it came off the defender's head. Lukic did well then, under pressure, to get it clear. Here's Donoa. Great effort. And Lukic again was in the perfect place. Well, we read enough about a positive attitude by Birmingham in this half, and uh, already they've shown up. Chances again, here, a nice little strike at goal. And look, he's had to be on his toes again. Splendid header, but Johnson covering well. However, he's given it straight back to the Leeds man. This is danger area for Yeboah, and it reaches McAllister. Great save, but turned in by Masinga. Nine minutes into the second half. The South African international, Phil Masinga, scores the goal that might well send Leeds United to Wembley. A bit lucky in a way there, first of all, Gary getting the, the break, but the goalkeeper made a great save, and Masinga up there just to roll it into the empty net. McAllister hasn't been getting forward much at all in the game, but he got, certainly got forward there, almost scores himself and make it easy for Masinga. Kelly's free kick is a good one. Dean wins the header, and he's there again, and a chance for Yeboah! Two goals in three minutes, and Howard Wilkinson can start thinking about Wembley now. Tony Yeboah, with his 17th goal of the season, has made a trip to the famous stadium a near certainty. Well done, Brian Dean, though. Got the first header, got the second header, and your ball, acrobatic scissor kick, knocks it in the net. There's big Brian, up he goes with the second one. Your ball, bicycle kick in the corner. Pool for Birmingham, they've got to keep believing. Frames header back in. Comes to Sheridan, that's a penalty. Have to be. No hesitation by the referee. Kelly looked and knew that the finger of fate would be pointing to the spot. Now, strangely enough, Birmingham City have a quite appalling record from penalty kicks. No doubt at all that they deserve one here. 
but they've missed something like, I think it's 11 of the last 19 spot kicks they've had. Jonathan Hunt, who's the regular penalty taker, is a substitute today, still on the bench, so the job falls to Steve Claridge. Well, Birmingham were almost going to put Hunt on just uh, like a minute before that incident, but uh, well, we'll wait and see how Claridge goes. It's hit the post, and surely now Leeds United are home and dry. That might have just given Barry Fry's team a glimmer of hope. And their appalling record from 12 yards out continues. Well, that is amazing, isn't it? Terrific ball from Callister. And the little flick has taken it straight onto the head of Dean. And he's taken Leeds United straight down Wembley Way with that goal. It's all over now for Birmingham. Leeds United will play Aston Villa in a month's time at Wembley in the Coca-Cola Cup final. Well, he's had a bit of a mix and match game hasn't he big Brian Dean he got a little bit of luck there McAllister's uh, cross deflected on his head and he just buried it in there at the back post you see here there, there's a cross going in there's a flick off a defender Brian Dean well over six feet up he goes nods it down 